we're looking at a desk full of stuff so that begs the question what are we doing today well we're going to work on the ambulance and we've got a number of different things to do I'm not sure where to start um, we've got some basic stuff like we're going to do the power steering fluid um, and we're going to do brake fluid I'm not sure if we'll do that in this video or not we've got more grease to do uni joints and bearings and bits and bobs um, but we have a whole bunch of electronic stuff here uh, electrical if you like the high voltage side of things um, anyway uh, we have a main we have a big fuse holder here with a, for A and L fuses um, and I've got a 250 amp fuse that's going to be our main battery fuse that I've been talking about um, in previous videos where I've shown this ambulance um, it's a bit of a work in progress I've got an inline fuse holder that's going to be for some 12 volt stuff that doesn't currently have a fuse on it um, but uh, for the battery bay I'm going to call it which is not actually the bay where the batteries are stored it's above it I'm going to stick that for the 24 to 12 volt converter that's going to go in with that um, and I've got some cigarette lighter sockets to install now on the back of this ambulance there is actually a, um, a seven pin round trailer plug that actually um, piggybacks into the um, uh, the 20 the 12 pin NATO plug for the trailer plug so I think I'm going to try and make an adapter make an inline adapter that goes from a male to female 7 pin round which is what's under there and gives me a 7 pin flat off that so I'm going to try that out I'm not sure how well that's going to work but I have the parts um, we'll work out what's going to happen first today because it is swelteringly hot out there um, and with multiple sclerosis I don't deal with the heat all that well so yeah we'll figure out what we're going to do first um, this is for solar panels by the way um, but given the time of year it is it's a bit hard to get that stuff so I'm waiting on a couple of connectors um, to fit those solar panels anyway um, I'm gonna have a few minutes to think about which bit to start with we might have a crack at that all right we found some trailer trailer cable that I've ordered some time ago it's seven core stuff now I'm sorry if there's a bit of background wind noise um, it's hot and I need the air conditioner so we're gonna deal with that um, so yeah let's get wiring basically all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna wire one plug to a socket and then parallel off the seven pin flat from that I'm not sure if I fit them all through the same cable gland but we'll we'll figure that out anyway let's uh, get cracking Okay, we've got our plugs all unboxed. Now, crucially, I kept the um, the back plates or the, the cards out of these with a wiring combination. I mean, it doesn't really matter what color I use as long as it's the same, but we want to do this to code. So we're going to follow these things because there's one thing I never quite remember other than what the yellow one is for because that's the one that always goes on the Land Rover. Um, but uh, yeah, I can never remember the colors for these, so I'm just going to use the cards and wire it as per spec. So, um, I think we're going to start with the plug side, and uh, I would disassemble all of these on the desk, but I have learnt from experience that's generally unwise. So, the first thing I am going to do though, is I'm going to feed this on and the rubber grommet. Although I suspect if I take the rubber grommet out of one of the other ones, I may even be able to get two out of it, but for now, we're going to do it this way. And I'm going to put this guy on as well before we chop the end of the cable off and I think a little bit of cable lubrication might be the way to go for that um, I'm not sure if I've got talc or anything kicking around here but we'll get that on in a minute um, so yeah let's get along with disassembling plugs this guy has a little clip here and I have trimmed my fingernails so off in a lower drawer off camera here we have a spudger it should open that no worries at all there's our main plug that's a clamshell that can go on after the fact yeah actually you know what uh, oh no this is a screw together type this might be the one i want to piggyback out of so i'll just wire the single lead into this one so i'm going to find something to lubricate that and we'll be right back all right so we've got our grommet on there um now obviously these things are not going to do the job we're going to have to do this the hard way now you can do this with a knife but 
given my MS dexterity and whatnot, I think I'm going to take a slightly safer path. Now, I am doing something unsafe here. I am pushing these in on the insulation towards my body. That is not recommended. Um, I am being cautious about it. Um, and I've done this a lot of times before, but that doesn't mean it can't backfire. Anyway, now that we have this off, we're going to give this a good yank. As is always a fun thing to do on a weekend. Oh, now, these are good ones. They're, this is good quality cable. Normally the cheaper stuff you can just keep pulling and it'll uh, eventually strip down to the right length. And oh, the innuendos you could make about that. Anyway, we well, will get this trimmed off so we have the proper amount exposed. Maybe I need to talk to my wife later tonight. Anyway, let's get to this bit here. Okay, we've got that exposed. And one moment. Alright, a moment has passed. So this is one time, one time where I use that stupid orange spacer on this thing to get all these right. But said orange spacer usually tends to retain the piece of insulation in here. So now I do like dealing with good copper cable, but one of the drawbacks with it is good copper cable can be a little unruly to work with. Um, there's certainly a good quantity of copper in here. Um, it's expensive stuff, but certainly better than the alternative of using cheap cable. Let's get booked. And I'm using my GoPro for this because I'm going to use it for most of it. And for consistency's sake, I want to keep the same um, field of view. So it means that this camera gets bumped very easy. Where are we? Here we go, we're doing that one. Alrighty, here's our cable stripped. Now, why on God's green earth do they keep using flat blade screws for these things? My Phillips aren't much better, I'd much prefer Robertson, but you know, that's not going to happen. There's a bit of cardboard wedged in this one. Um, where's my spudger gone? That will do. I guess we're going to find a little flat blade screwdriver, which I do have. They just finger stabbers, they slide out all the time. Ugh. Why is there so much cardboard packed into a new connector like this? Ugh. I'll get that out with a screwdriver. Let me find a screwdriver. Alright, so I found a screwdriver and I took the time to adjust my tripod slightly and secure it. Ugh. What is with this? Okay. Cool, now we've got to open up all these terminals in here. My apprentice has heard me talking with this particular cadence and has decided I'm doing a video, so she's coming to check it out. I'm going to say hi on camera, apprentice. Are oh, you going to be shy today? All right. You're going to eat your tablet. Is that what you, you're hungry? You need your tablet. Right. So I can watch videos. Oh, so you can watch videos while you eat. Yes. So you don't like just eating and then watching videos. Alright. First world problems in this house. Alright, let's get this terminal screw back in that fell out. We don't want it completely out. Should be good enough. Okay. Well, you will be back once I sort my apprentice. Alright. So we are dealing with the plug. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with the yellow one, which is pin 1. We need to work out where pin 1 is. So we've got 1 left, 2, 54C, 3, 31. Okay, so we've got dual indications on this. So um, Now in case you're wondering if we can put this in backwards, there's a little keyway in here that stops that. Um, so, I guess yellow is pin 1. And I stripped these a little long, but we're just going to go along with that for now. We'll do pin 1. Do it firm, but not over tight, because these are 
copper or brass connectors. All right, that one's in. Let's do the rest off camera because that'll be boring. So let's just, we'll skip to right having done this done. All right, so I kind of, I would have liked to have put these in in the order of the, um, the cables coming out the end, but I ended up flipping the brown around, which messed the order up. Um, so it's not ideal, but also because I had stripped these slightly inconsistently, it sort of served to straighten everything out so that the plug still sits lateral on the end or sits level on the end there. Um, the next one, I'll probably get that right. <clears throat> Again, this is not going at the door for anybody else but me, so I can tolerate a little bit of substandard there. <clears throat> I wouldn't be doing this for, say, a customer or something of the likes. Um, now, we need to pull this grommet back down the cable, which is very stiff. So, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, my throat is a little crackly still. All right, um, I'm not sure where the keyway is in this. Oh, unless the keyway is dependent on the, yeah, this is a little different. So that should be just a smidgen further back here so that that sits in the edge. Okay, now, um, I think they've changed the way they make these. There used to be a little stop in there where it would um where the stop would actually hold that in the correct orientation but i don't know if that's the case anymore um there doesn't seem to be any ah there is a gap at the top there so i infer from that, that something should protrude from that gap maybe the keyway huh I've tried to make this idiot proof and I've made it a little confusing. So let's chuck you in here. Yeah, okay, that is correct. Yeah, so the keyway does sit in the top there. That's what I thought. All right, so that's snapped back on. Where's our thingy that we always forget to put on? That one. So this should force that rubber grommet into that hole as we do this up, which will be good. That's what we want. It's gone in nice and firm. So there's one plug. So now we've got to make our adapter, which doesn't need to be too terribly long. Um, and we're probably going to run two leads out of this one. We'll see if there's room for that. We might end up having to strip some of the outer insulation and have exposed wires hanging out there. But we'll see what fits. This is a bit of a hack job. All right, so we're going to disassemble this. I've already removed the screws. These two here are for the cable clamp, which resides in this rear section. There's the cable clamp because we unscrewed it. Um, normally you wouldn't unscrew that completely, but uh, we're going to be shoving two cables through here, so we might uh, modify that rear section slightly. That's why we've done that. Here's our actual socket face. It's in here. And uh, we're going to fold our little retaining clip back over for the time being. That might even need to get removed with what we're doing. but. We'll find out. So, as usual, I'm going to undo all these. But I'm going to trim my cable to length first, strip all the ends, and then make a pigtail off. We're going to hook two into this. Uh, and I'll try and fit them through here first and work out what sort of modification we need to do before that. Um, so, yeah, I've been interrupted a lot today, so I'm going to do some of this, and we'll be back to when I've got them fed through, and I'll explain how we manage that. All right. We've got everything through. Now... A um, couple of sacrifices had to be made. Number one, the grommet was never going to fit, and we knew that. And number two, strain relief, there is no way that's going to fit in there. Uh, and this is in fairly firmly anyway. So we might even glue that if we really want to do it properly. But uh, we're going to wire it up with this length, and we're going to pull it back out. So some of this double insulation will be hanging out here. There'll be some of this stuff exposed. I'm happy to tolerate that, but... If we were going to do this properly, I would actually spend the time to force all of this all the way through so that all of this would be concealed within that plug. Um, I'm not so keen to do that, although, you know what, we're almost there anyway. We might as well do it properly. We'll drag it through. So we might chop these off a little shorter. Anyway, um, so I do need to uh, get these joined up and twisted together. We may actually, you know what, I'm happier working with this length of cable. I can 
rejig that in the field if I snag it on something. So we might might not worry about doing this too neatly. Anyway, I've got to get all these um, separated, and I'm probably going to solder these together um, because uh, it's probably going to help a lot. Although in these screw terminals, soldering stuff can be a bit of a recipe for disaster. So. Whilst I'm explaining that to you guys, I think I've rethought the idea behind soldering them anyway. So I might just strip and twist and then shove in the socket. So uh, I'm gonna get cracking with a couple of those first and then we'll uh, we'll move on. All right, so we've got, uh, we're gonna start with these guys. What we've done, um, we have lo basically loosened off all these screws. So there's room to get stuff in the terminals. Um, I almost messed that up. So I'm going to do these one at a time. So these are all pretty much the same color, or the same pin to the same color anyway, but I'm going to look at the socket diagram. We're going to shove in my keyboard up here. And so pin one, of course, is always yellow. So we're going to shove you in there. Again, this is a little bit long. We might trim these guys down a little bit in this one. And where's pin one again? pin one at the top and we will shove you in the socket and screw it down and we're going to repeat this six more times probably off camera so there's one in let's keep going all right we've got it wired um, a bit of a cock up with some of the uh, stripping of the insulation in here so I may redo the blue and a couple of others so we don't have a short um, but this is mostly for testing anyway, but yeah, no, I think I'm really going to have to redo that blue. That's, uh, yeah, a little bit too long. And, uh, our brown in the middle does cause that terminal to twist, which will eventually touch that screw head on there. So yeah, we need to do that. This one's still a bit long, but I think I can get in there with a bit of nail polish and insulate that. Anyway, let's redo this blue one and then we'll, uh, start putting things back together. All right, there's our blue redone. Now, some of you might question why I'm worrying too much about the blue. It's just for the electric brakes, and I don't have anything that uses electric brakes, and now I realize I've got some copper hanging off the side. I'll trim that off in a minute. Um, well, this is an adapter. It might get ripped off this device and used for another one, and, you know, it'd be just my luck. I'd go, here, borrow this for a minute, and uh, it would cause an accident that I'd probably be liable for or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's worth doing it right. So now we've got to get the shroud back on. That's going to be the fun bit. All right, I'm going to grab the shroud and pull the cables with all my might and try and wriggle this back on. And it is actually damaging some of the sheath here. So it's generally because we're doing something that's not meant to be done. So I'm going to do this bit a little bit off camera and we'll be back once I've uh, sworn at it a few dozen times. All right, and everything is in. And of course, when doing something you don't normally, uh, it's not really designed to do, you end up with things like this bit of damage here, but it does the job, it goes in. Crucially, the multimeter says nothing came out. So we're happy. So I guess we're gonna go and crawl under the ambulance and see if we've got trailer lights now. Ah, but wait, there's more. I forgot the seven pin flat. So, next job is let's wire the seven pin flat in. Um, yeah, same grommet set up here. And the strain relief comes some assembly required. Anyway, we'll get this on and uh, then we'll try crawling under the ambulance. All right, well, we've got everything wired in, <coughs> except for my throat apparently. So, there was never ever I'm gonna get this grommet over this cable. This is designed for five core stuff, not seven. Um, why bother putting a terminal for all seven pins, I guess, if you're gonna do that. So it was never ever gonna fit there with the grommet or even with the insulation even through that bit. So these guys are gonna go in and I'm gonna put the strain relief over the top of these guys. Uh, and then we're gonna shut this one up. All right, let's do that. Alright, we're done. Looks a little chunky with the wires hanging out the end, but you know, that's what you get when I do stuff. Um, anyway, let's go test this thing. 
All right, so we're looking at the back of the ambulance and we can see our 12 pin NATO plug here and there's that cable that runs off in the background. Pretty sure that runs all the way along and up under here where originally there would have been a socket. But I think there's actually a socket right behind that with a plug in it. So we're gonna unplug and splice into that. So let's get underneath and have a look. All right, so I'm on mag mount or magnetic mount. Not sure how well you can see this, but here's our plug under here. Stuff in here now. This is where I just double check that I've actually put these plugs together correctly. They appear to be right. All right, so where's our keyway? I think that's our keyway there. That one goes in. This one should plug right in. All right, it's not pretty. We'll take that up in a minute. Let's go and get our um, trailer plug adapter and see if we've got wiring off this. Be nice if it's gonna be this simple. Get that plug in there properly. All right, let's get our trailer plug tester. All right, so it's at this point I realize a fundamental mistake. I need to find my socket. I wired the plug instead of the socket. Ah. Well, it doesn't stop me from testing something. I can plug this in underneath anyway. Or uh, well, maybe I can't. Ah, anyway, oh, I've got to find a socket now. We'll see what happens. All right, so like magic, about half an hour later, I have a different plug on here. I forgot to put the grommet in it, but we're going to just test. And this one has a horrible spring that I hate. All right. Now, let's see, we should have, ha, we have indicators. That's awesome. So that means this plug works. I'm gonna test a few other things, but it actually works. That's a really simple way, and I can put it back the way it was if I need to. So I'm gonna go get the missus to help me test the rest. Okay, so I've been under with some giant zip ties and zip tied all of this stuff up and um, yeah, we've zip tied the uh, metal wire loop on the top of that bracket is zip tied here. Underneath there's a few more. We've got another retaining one here just so it doesn't get loose. And uh, when we're traveling, this can tuck in here until I can be bothered probably drilling a, another mounting point maybe in this body bit here at some point. So yeah, and uh, hopefully very soon we'll be getting some new club plates too for this. Um, we've got the roadie done and everything, so uh, we're waiting on the car club to uh, to deal with this as well. So yeah, all right. Um, that does mean we can drag the Argo on this if we need to. Now the bigger problem we've got to solve with this is wheel alignment, but uh, we'll get to that at another point. So we can wander into the front here, and uh, you can probably see probably if I get down nice and low. You can probably see this guy is a little bit out slightly. Um, so it's, the toe setting is way out of whack on this. So I think at some point we're gonna have to adjust that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna pay somebody to do that and I'm gonna print out the specs and get him to do it properly. And it won't be long and the tactical tinsel is gonna have to come off too. But uh, that's staying on there for now. Anyway, we're charging batteries today. Um, I've got some stuff as you saw at the start of the video for the solar panels to happen, but that's not going to happen in this video I'm probably going to start on a second video Sometime today and I'm going to mount um, some additional lighter plugs on the dash But we'll get to that when we get to it Anyway, hope you had fun We'll see you all in the next video